Welcome to the Account Solutions. This channel is dedicated to bring you solutions to your everyday tasks in areas of bookkeeping, business administration, accounting and taxation. If you like what you're doing here, kindly click on the subscription button and support us. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. Now let's try to receive some products from other branches. So let's go back to user interface. Same thing, your sales group you can select your supervisor or accounts. Date of received 13th August 21. Sales date 13th August 21. The shift, let's say it's normal shift 13th August 21. Name of party, let's say flower sort also. The type is go down to received from other branches stock movement is put out in and the month second week of August. let's say we are bringing in this product and um, this product so we just ignore the control number if there's any number you can just type it here unless we are bringing in 500 of this product and 1000 of this product for example then you post posted let's go back to our dashboard and just check what we've just done dashboard let's type in today's date 13th august 21 enter so you can see we have on the 12th of August yesterday, the stock closed at this following quantity. If you look at today's 13th of August, product in was only 501,000, which were the product we received from other branches. So that was what we received from other branches. If you scroll to your right, you would see highest quantity received from other branches as per chosen week, EW rules. Are the highest quantity of products received highest quantity produced as per chosen week that the ones we produce in this branch is ew slice rules for this week but the ones we see from other branch the highest one was ew rules you can see how the templates populate the report let's go for further to issue some products we have some product ones we send to other branches we'll go back to user interface then you select your sales group again you just to group um categories of partners who you interface with let's say the sales people the date was let's say the 12th of august 21 the sales date was same day 12th of august 21 that's using random date the shift day is 12th slash 13 was a shift slash 21 slash 08 slash 21 was a nice shift then the party let's put any name there type is sent to other branches each time you are issuing products to um customers or other branches or product just are leaving the finished product department is product out to select when you are receiving product into the finished product department for packaging and for sale, it's product in. Select the, the month, the week, August 2nd week. Then the product you want to send to other branches. I just pick this product. I just pick this product. I just pick this product. I'm sending 3,000 of this product. I'm sending 2,000 of this product. 7700 of this product so you can ignore all these other um, columns if you want to put in there post okay all right 
let's go back to our dashboard back to dashboard so you can see if i change this to 11th of august 21 you can see these are the product before 11th and on that 11th product in that this product let's change to 12th of august let's demonstrate this in different angles 12th of august you can see no product in go to product out on the 12th of august sent to other branches there are quantities but there are no prices we did not invoice those branches they did not pay off we only issue them product so you won't see anything appear here but under product sold to other branches in quantity for the week you will come to your right hand side see quantity sent to other branches for this august 21 week 2 see 2000 was sent of this product two three of these products were sent so you can see you have 700 of this product you can see all your data for the quantity received from other branches quantity produced here in the branch quantity sent to other branches and let's test quantity sold to customers let's check quantity sold to customers from this our branch here go back to user interface then you now select your sales group so sold to distributors the sales date 13th august 21st that's position position date was um the same uh, let's say 12th for example then sales date can be 13th just using examples to explain this 21 then your shift 13th 8 21 name of party could be any of the customers then type is sales we now have product out the week is second week in the month of august 21 so just look for that week then which product did you sell i sold this i sold this and i sold this in fact i sold all the products on that day to this customer henry ann I sold all the customers now if you look at your right hand side you see this stock balance and you also see the unit price so in case you are selling it be above unit price but this can give you an idea that you cannot sell below this price but you're right so I, i'll assume i'm selling at this price i just go ahead and type the quantity i'm selling I'm selling 1500 this, this one I'm selling 500 pieces a year just type in all the quantity you are selling so i have my quantity that i want to sell and i have my unit price you can type the sales receipt number if you have any same you can only, only you can only post sales per customer or per distributor so i have my sales receipt here i'll check if everything is okay now if you want to sell let's put a quantity of 100 you can see this um, line will turn to red insufficient stock you cannot sell more than what more than what you have in your store so you need to be sure that you enter all the production control however this cannot stop you from posting unlike the real-time template you can post without ensuring you have the right product but for this template it's just a warning you can still go ahead and post this but you be sure that your your stock balance will not be correct as though i just put 97 i'm fine so post so we've posted our first sales now let's go ahead and post other sales for other customers you can pause the video and just try your hand around the template post as many customers as possible then we'll go to the report and check how the reports are populating in the various reports in this template go ahead pause the video ensure you post up to uh, sales for 10 customers including auction sales Try and make those posting and come back and continue. Welcome back. Let's try and post one auction sales. I believe you've posted a lot of sales to, um, to various customers. So let's set an auction of 300 and it was sold for 100 naira per product instead of the regular 120. To put the receipt number, you know, let's post this auction sale. Okay. So we've done all the posting. Let's go back to our dashboard. 
I explained here before just to reiterate just to show us more statistics scroll to your right you will see um, four stats showing here on the dashboard highest quantity purchased as per chosen week this is week 2 August highest quantity we see from other branches this is the product highest quantity sold as per chosen week this is the product EWBG was the highest product sold based on the week we selected the highest quantity sent to other branches as per the chosen week EW Spice was the highest product that was sent to other branches in this week we selected here so that's all about the dashboard all about the posting of product in and product out product in when you receive product from the production unit and product out when you sell those products let's go to the report now first is you can sell stock if you have any issue with your stock you want to check the quantity of product in and product out just click here you clear select the product on this blue cell here pick any product one you can sell ew coconut so you come to this blue cell and you select any product you want to select on the you can sell. Then you click on generate. Watch these two tables here for product in and here for product out. So you will see all the transactions posted when this product was produced, or we see from other branches, you will see them on your left hand side. And all the quantity of those products that were sold out, you see them on your right hand side. So you click on generate. You can see I have um 200 quantity showing me as balance so you have the all the um, products in you posted for this product and the different dates that they were issued out or sold out as product out so you can see the balance is 200 if you go to your dashboard and it's not 200 there's a problem somewhere but that is how you can so just select a product and then you click on generate to give you your reconciliation and the number in red is your stock balance if you go towards your right the other tables here this table is just showing you um, showing you the number of products that are available you know and who posted them so you want to check you want to track the officer or the salesperson or the account clerk that posted these donations you can track it here see the product in posted by this Swiss bell so just come back here and refresh this page refresh yes so you see the list of all the staff in the organization that posted product in and product out see the production date posted by me and you see the list of all the items line by line that we are posted on those same days so that's how you can um, reconcile your stock balances and check the officer that did the posting at a particular time. Back to dashboard, we have the view all data. Here, you can just generate and to generate all the data in the database. But we don't need everything because it's not organized here. We have product in, product out, so it's not summing up properly here. So we have these white cells here on my left hand side. These are all um, filter criteria. You can filter your data from your database based on this criteria. So let's let's take for example, I want to check all products in. I want to check it um, on the week of of August twenty one. Whenever you're selecting these items, they will filter down from your database. They will filter down only the items that matches with your filter criteria. So our criteria here is week stock movement type and total these are so our filter here is week and stock movement which is product in these two criteria we use to filter the database you know that you've made all your post into so let's click on generate it will generate only transactions that we are product in for august 2021 week two those are the ones that we generated when you generate it because you set the criteria to filter only these items you can click on this clear to clear everything okay if you want to now filter based on all transactions then you don't need to fill in anything in the white cells just click on generate and to give you data for all transactions go to the dashboard the next we're looking at is week report 
this is a simple table that um, reports all the products they have been linked to the product table you don't need to type it manually once you populate your product table you will see all these products will appear for each table so for each table product we have quantity total value sold and the average average price is um, total value sold divided by quantity that was sold if you go down you will see under control total sales that's normal sales that was an auction this is total was sold in quantity and in value then you add your auction sales now get your overall amount that was received as cash then you now type in in this blue cell type in your cash received the cash that was received type it in whatever you type here will now show you if there is any deficit or not enter when i have 9000 naira which is a short for we should have received 159 from our record from our sales but what we have fiscally is 50,000 naira then someone has to explain why there is this difference otherwise you just put in your account number then to go back to zero because we assume that all the sales for that day we, we, we receive as cash either transfer or cash or POS but you need to tally the cash received by the cashier and the sales made plus auction sales made should tally in this business if you go further down you have the production control all the days of the production for that to be list them out here and it will also populate um, um, items for production for the database at the end we now have the total production will come up here stock available gross margin stock balance you now see all the other details that we populate your report once you post them all right this is all quality wrap on this video next video i'll be showing you how to check the quality analysis and all other reports that you can generate with this template so see you in the next video thanks for coming by cheers